We are. Pumpkin. Fuckhead! Get up! Hey! Motherfucker. Out of boy. What do you got to teach me, bud? This is just a fucking dream. You're dead. Oh, no. Those are just senseless words to help put silly minds at ease. He's ready now. Gravy? What the fuck is this? We're putting you on a diet. What? You got six. You want to go to nine? It's going to make your wiener look a lot bigger. <laughs> <laughs> You have taken too much. There's no more room. Get it? You should be ashamed of yourself. You gotta get serious about this business of acting, my friend. Stop doing this Shakespeare bullshit. Look, Sid. You don't need a master's degree. What you need is a good headshot. Huh? He's a shit. Stop that! Sid, I don't have time to listen Shut up to and you. listen to me, kid. I'm giving you platinum here. You know what your problem is, Gary? You're an actor. But you live in L.A. You want to act? Go back to fucking Ohio. I didn't sign you because I thought you could act. I signed you because I think you can make Sally Homemaker all wet. We're in the business of fantasy, and your sex appeal is almost gone. So don't be a fucking moron. Your window's closing, Gary. Would you just please, please, bring me back something that I can sell? Not that theatrical horseshit. God almighty, you know, just, uh, take your goddamn shirt off. Do one of those poses that they do in the men's magazines or something. Would you stop bringing him around? Creepy bastard looks like a goddamn terrorist. God, I don't know how you got that call back. I'm telling you something, you better focus when you go to this audition, okay? Because if you do anything fucking stupid, we're through. We're already through, Sid. After this audition, I'm leaving. Okay, then you better fucking get it. Because after all the time that I've spent with you, you owe me, kid. Have a seat. Good of you to meet me. Don't mention it. Why don't we make it my treat? I don't take cash here. <laughs> That's right, I forgot. But you do, don't you? My housing project. Citizen investor, huh? It's amazing. No one seems to be immune to this real estate fever. And that's a problem for you, Oxley? No, more the merrier. It's just a little strange after all this time getting from you rather than giving. But you'll still take it, huh? You made a smart decision. This market's got a long way to go yet. Mm. Which is more than you can say for Holcroft, huh? Heart attack, huh? You think the sun's gonna step up? He's only been waiting 20 years. I don't know. We'll see, won't we? Yeah, we will. You want a drink? Why did you want to see me in person? As much as I love the members only world. It's Chambers and Galvez. Why would you say that? Because Dave Chambers is going to run for office. I'm impressed. And? Unbeknownst to him. Oh, of course. Some of his family members have been running one of the Mexico routes. With his law partner, Galvez. No need for names. So what's their problem? A new outfit in South Phoenix has been nibbling around one of those routes. Deliveries have disappeared. Trucks are missing. No serious weight. Strictly amateur stuff, but Chambers and Galvez can't. Can't go after it right now with the campaign starting up. Can you handle it? Yeah, I can handle it. How much? 25% of both routes until this blows over. 25? Mm-hmm. Of both routes? Both routes. Come on. I'll give you 15. 20. Done. No reason for anyone to be unhappy. Mm -hmm. Give me the names. Tommy and Zeebo. It's been a pleasure. You don't mind if I skip lunch, do you? It's Mr. Galvez, right? I sure hope you didn't miss any of that. You'd be sure to tell Chambers he has my vote. Yes, 
saw that son of a bitch before in my life. How the Relax, hell? you got a good deal. 20% is your idea of a good deal? Mm. You've been drinking? I've had a few. Any particular reason? A few is better than one. Oh, Jesus, Gary, you're not a little boy anymore. Ah, oh, I love it when you get started with me, Doc. I really do. It reminds me of my dear old dad. He was a lot like you, actually. A little donkey thought he was a big shark. I don't know. I don't know how that turned out. You know what he was wearing when I found him swinging from the rafters? Oh, hold on a minute. A silk ascot. You found him? Right under the rope. I shit you not. He's got the fat blue face, the tongue hanging out, and the eyes. Popped out of their sockets. Shit coming down his leg. Stupid what? What's on a fucking ascot? Oh, come here. And in conclusion, let us refer to Ephesians. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary is walking about like a roaring lion. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we come to you today and ask for your forgiveness. We ask that you strengthen our resolve in facing our demons with your love and kindness. In Jesus Christ we pray, amen. Said? Yeah, yeah, I heard you. Well, I just can't believe that you're telling me right now. I mean, really, Danny? My mom is gonna be here in like, what, five minutes? You need to let that breathe a little bit? Never mind. 
You know, it's funny to me that you didn't even have the common sense to think to yourself, hey, this may not be the best time. I don't get it, Danny. Are you retarded or just stupid? Because I can deal with retarded. Put you on the short bus, send you off to class. Hell, I could get you a private tutor. But if you're just stupid. I just think we should probably take a break. Look, honestly, all I care about getting through tonight and letting my mom think that everything's just tits. So if you could just do me a big favor and grow a pair of balls for a couple hours, I could have my stuff out of here by tomorrow afternoon.